all right guys welcome back uh this is the third part of our tour of npd's massive massive car collection so welcome to another episode of junkyards and barn finds with sean and i'm sean And we're gonna get started with this whole line of cars here. And some of these are super special cars. They're all just ridiculously in beautiful shape. So we're gonna take a walk down here. You can see right now, they've got Cadillacs, Oldsmobiles, Pontiacs, Fords, all kinds of stuff down this row. So we're gonna head down there, hopefully get to the end, take about 20 minutes to do this. And if you like this kind of thing, check out the first video. Check out the second video. We had the first one was a lot of Pontiacs, uh, Le Mans, and uh, some of the Trans Ams they have here. Second part was basically Ford Mustangs, and they have a ton of historic cars here. Um, and we're just taking an opportunity because you don't really get an opportunity to come down here and see this. Uh, it's rarely open to the public. Um, the cars are usually shipped out to where they could be seen, but here, if you don't know it's here um, and you don't ask and they don't have time, it's very hard to get back here just to look at these. So I'm taking you through. It's a rainy day down here. It's the week of Thanksgiving 2021. And they were gracious enough to let us come in and make some videos so that we could share this with the world. So anyway, we're starting here with a really nice Cadillac coupe right there. Oh, remember, if you like this kind of thing, guys, please subscribe. Uh, that's the best way to tell YouTube that you like this. Also, National Parts Depot is one of those businesses that you probably have bought from and you don't even know. They have, the reason they have this cars and the reason they have all these cars here and the reason we're in this giant warehouse is so that they can fulfill orders for all your parts for the cars that you guys are, uh, making i mean we're looking at american cars here guys we're looking at american muscle and that's what these guys do if you need the part these guys are great so um if you haven't ever looked at an npd catalog and by the way you can get catalogs either online or paper and those catalogs will allow you to for your specific car so if you have a bonneville if you've got a gto if you've got a camaro they have a catalog which is simply for your car so please check those out. All right. So we've got a really nice two-door baby blue. And baby blue was a color you would get in cars in 1966. So this thing is as old as me and uh, in way better shape. Sh uh. Sorry, see, that's how bad a shape I am. This is in way better shape than I am and we're the same age, both born in 66. This only has 16,000 original miles though which is way less than I have on my body, and 100% unrestored, including the original paint and interior. It was only, uh, it was purchased by a gentleman who passed away a year later that his son kept it in a garage for 30 years, which is why you don't see the, temp the typical rust and the discoloring and all the stuff that happens with some of these older Cadillacs. Um, if we go and look at the tail of the Cadillac here, because these are both. I mean, it's a two-door car and it's like larger than a pickup truck. But a lot of times, pieces of these cars or the vinyl roofs or whatever would go bad. But because this was in storage for 30 years, that didn't happen. Here we have a really, really beautiful... What is this? Oldsmobile. Okay, a Starfire. Wow. I didn't I thought it was something different. I thought it was a wildcat, but it's a Starfire. It caught me by surprise. So a Starfire. I've not seen a Starfire before. Although I'll be honest with you, I recognize the front end, but that looks like a Buick Wildcat. But it's not. It's an Oldsmobile Starfire. So I'm gonna guess that probably and it doesn't have a date on it. I'm gonna say 67. You 
put in the comments what year you, if you know what this is i'm gonna say it was probably could it be a 64 i guarantee it's 64 to 67 not really sure which one but it looks a lot to me like a buick wildcat so then we have the big old black bonneville four-door a classic i love how the mirrors i love how the mirrors are far up on the fender on these cars I'll be honest with you, that would make it hard for me to drive. I'm really glad they put the mirrors here or moved them to here from there. Can you imagine in like a rain or fog or snow and you gotta see that? That would be difficult. But this car here is huge. Now, I mean, this is a land yacht. In fact, I think you need a captain's license to actually get to drive one of these things. So it doesn't come with a license plate, comes with a registration number and a flag. But look at this thing. This thing is huge. And the black on black reminds me of every movie I've ever seen about the JFK assassination because it seems like all the White Houses back in the day had these big black cars that looked just like that. So here we have a 64 Pontiac Grand Prix. This one is also black. Oh, it's not black. My mistake. It is Nocturne Blue. Okay, Nocturne Blue, which I'm going to say, wow, you know what? I'll be honest with you, you look, you got to look really, really close, and this is blue, but it is like a black blue. From here, from back here, it looks black, and that's black. That's Nocturne Blue. It is. What can I say? I would have thought it was black, but... This option car has air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, power windows, the 389 V8 four barrel with a three speed automatic transmission. Um, but this is just a really cool car. But look how big this is. And this is a two door. This is a two door car. Grand Prix. Love those hubcaps. Look at, look at where the wheel bolts are for those. I don't know if that's the bolts just for the hubcaps or if that's for the, it's got to be the bolts for the hubcaps interior is blue with a lots and lots and lots of chrome and this 60s styling is just classic it's got the power window or power antenna rather power antenna that shoots back like this so that is really cool for a grand prix that is a big car that is a big car next to it is let me double check yep black so next to it i believe is a galaxy 500 galaxy 500 xl yes it is um and this galaxy 500 was only 3568 when it was new it was the two-door hardtop raven black with a 390 cruise o uh am radio which you actually had to pay 33 dollars for an am radio uh electric windows two-speed electric padded dash so yep padded dash so you had to pay for that padded dash but these are the iconic 60s fords if you ever want to see one of these driving around in a time period piece um watch the tv show dragnet with harry morgan in it and this is what they used for their undercover police car was a ford galaxy 500 xl and in some of the shows they used a two-door that was gray which i never understood because if we look at this if you hit the bad guys you got to put them in the back seat and there's nothing stopping because you got bucket seats so we have this here looks like a suicide door 63 62 64 lincoln let's see it says over here is it the Lincoln or is is that the Lincoln emblem or is that the Mercury engine? Uh, let, let's see. Nope, it's the Lincoln. 64. Unrestored. 16,000 miles. Really nice. Really nice. I love this. This is a metallic paint. Um, I don't know what it's looking like on camera right now, but it is a very metallic, uh, not teal. 
it's like baby blue meets teal if baby blue and teal were together that would look and then it has a very metallic interior to it very large metallic interior to it but that again big giant land yacht next to it we've got i believe this is the impala the chevy impala let's see as a chevy yep chevy impala there you go i believe it's a 59 it's a 58 or 59 chevy impala and you can see the impalas and the bel airs were kind of similar and when they started in the the 59 when they got rid of the tail with the big fins they still tried to keep the styling cues the same the interiors with the two color so let's see up oh, 61 let's say 61 1961 impala so i was close with 59 and this is a ford galaxy again so this is another galaxy 500 xl and if we compare this 500 xl which is beautiful i mean look at all the chrome just in these mirrors this thing this is the jet age here's the turbine the turbine the jet turbine the whole thing and this is an automatic with tons of chrome convertible still kept these rubber you know the rubber bumper from like the uh 1950s 56 57 and had the jet turbine uh like late 50s tail lights but if we look at this galaxy 500 um but this one here is a 64 and this is a 64 500 xl and i believe these are the same they look the same so these are probably 64s so and um if you guys remember we did that 64 race car clone galaxy 500 a couple weeks ago if you really like these cars you should check out that 64 race car uh the lightweight one that had the it, it was literally built exactly like the 64s with that had the fiberglass hoods and everything that were the factory race cars and so if you like these you got to check that out but this one here um in the black that's one in a teal color like i said the teal is a really cool color uh but this is the classic black and red this is a four speed it looks like a four speed um and again the tail lights were the rocket tail lights now that one still has a little bumperettes on it this does not and those those bumperettes are very uh uh, they remind you of the 1956 55 Fords with those so that's kind of cool but uh, these back lights and all at the time because this is when jet planes were first coming out and so a lot of the car manufacturers would try to make these represent the jet aircraft engines of the day so when it lit up it would look kind of like the jet planes at the time everybody was in the space and jets and you know we were going to go to space because that's when jfk was president and all that kind of stuff and so the space race was just kicking off and these cars i mean look at the spinners on this look at the hubcaps on this these aren't wheels these are hubcaps now everybody today gets aluminum wheels and stuff with their cars but um you know these aren't wheels these are hubcaps back in the day everybody had steel wheels and they would just you would get whatever hubcap you wanted so you could get the wire hubcaps here with a three spinner you could get those xl uh that type of hubcap that kind of hubcap that um and one of the nice things with hubcaps is you could change them or special order them uh and one of the bad things about hubcaps is every time you hit a pothole you had to go and buy one because there was always some guy with a shed right near where the big pothole was that would have a thousand hubcaps for sale and probably yours if he could get to it before you did all right so here's the 64 chevelle impala ss and this particular one is ember red it's mostly unrestored it only has 24,000 miles on it the paint trim and interior is 100 percent original um and it has a 327 300 horsepower v8 and four-speed transmission now 
if you look at the car that we found the other day and i wasn't sure what year it is but you guys all pointed out it was definitely a 64 that one is an ss impala just like this um except that this one is not completely rusty and has has never been restored because it was taken care of but looking at this remember when i was looking at that one and i said this trim i wasn't sure if it had a vinyl roof but this has trim with no vinyl roof so if you were interested in that other one that um i think brian was the guy who was trying to get rid of it uh and i gave you his tech contact info and it was in fort myers but if you wanted that one this is what it could look like so this is what an a restored impala that's a 64 looks like and there's your interior all black all black it's got the nice chrome ring on it steering column there and it has all the ss console and badges and everything else um now the other one had a console but it was shoved like in the back seat so this is something you could definitely um, make that other one into if you have the time and then here's a 63. Um, now this is Amelia Island Concourse Impala SS Sport Coupe. And this particular car has the 340 horsepower 409. And that is what everybody wanted. That's what they made the song, the 409, the Beach Boys song about. And this is a really, really beautiful. I love that this has the little rubber bumpers in front. That's a rarity. My mom actually had one of these cars, and when we were kids, she actually traded a typewriter for the car. She got the car by trading a typewriter. Think of that. So this has SS, this is a 409 car. So let's, first off, 409s are rare. Second off, this is a beautiful car. Third, this is a, an Amelia Island uh, concourse car. So that means it's perfect. That's what that means. It is a perfect car. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It has this special rubber bumper th option on it. There it is, 50 millionth car. So this is the actual 50 millionth car that Chevrolet made. There's a picture of this car being made, 50 millionth. Four speed, perfect interior. As I said, it's a concourse from a million, so we know it's perfect. It's got all the options on the inside, all the options on the outside. This was the cool car of 63. This is before Camaros. So before the Camaros, this is before Mustangs. They didn't exist before GTOs. Um, GTOs came out in 64 the following year. So this car was the hot rod that you got if you were a young guy this is the car that you had up on the wall this is the poster of the car this is the car the 409 the beatles song about it or not the beatles the beach boy songs about it this was the car you wanted unless of course you're elvis and then the 63 cadillac 62 is what you wanted and this one had only 22,000 miles on it by 1975 it only has 32,000 now and it's 100% unrestored. And it's white. Now, if it was pink, it may have been Elvis's car, but he liked the white ones too. Look at that two-tone interior. White top, black everywhere else. Look at that steering wheel. We'll go over and take a look at that. But this thing is just beautiful all around. And the crazy thing is that these cars are original. They weren't wrecked. They weren't scratched. They weren't, I mean, look at cars in the parking lots nowadays. Look at your own car. You own it for three years, you got dents and scratches. But the difference is with these things, people took care of their cars back then. And there weren't as many of them. But the other thing is, these cars are made like tanks. Look at that beautiful steering wheel, black and white and chrome and red in the center. Just crazy. Crazy, crazy. Another Ford 62 Ford Galaxy 500. And 62 also the old Starfire. Another Starfire never seen before. Not very familiar with the Starfires. Actually, I think the only time I've seen them is up at Old Gold 
in the junkyard and the ones there are not really recognizable like these are you can see it this was used it has a little bit of pitting that was in the bumper you know so this would these were driven these cars in this collection were were not put i mean some were but most of them weren't nice chrome automatic power windows power everything so these were high-end cars look at that steering wheel that is a cool design for a steering wheel it looks like this was still inspected in the year 2000. Another 62 Ford Galaxy. This is the Hypo, the 100% original, unrestored 61 Galaxy Hypo two-door hardtop with only 1,550 original miles. It had a 390 cubic inch 401 high-performance option, three-speed manual transmission, and aftermarket aftermarket tax tachometer the galaxy was special ordered new by a dealership and within two weeks of the ownership he managed to get in so much trouble with the local authorities that the parents took the car away from the buyer and the car is now carefully preserved so he got in way too much trouble the original buyer of this and it's got the moon hubcaps this galaxy is called you know this is a um this is a runner one of the original sleepers and if you were a moonshiner probably really good car for moonshining that tack on there so that tack is actually the tack that came with the car we think of all those taxes always um you know aftermarket but that was installed by the dealership beautiful and then here's another impala with the bumperettes baby blue lots of baby blue you can see baby blue was one of the um colors that back in the day people liked this is a 61 chevy impala sport not super sport but sport and it has a 283 with a power glide transmission and brakes and everything it had all the nice stuff it was loaded but if you notice, look at all the different colors. You see one white car. Most of the colors in here, most of the colors are colors. Nowadays, most of the cars are white or black or silver. So here we have another Amelia Island uh, de D'Elegance Concourse car. And this is a 60 Pontiac Bonneville Sport Coupe. Again, with the Buicks, they put these mirrors way out here. Tell me, how does that guy, the driving see this mirror? I don't know. Through all this concave glass and everything i don't know the design but again looking at this you've got you could tell the looks like rockets looks like the wings looks like a jet engines coming off the back now these are rare you don't really see this bonnieville much which is probably why we see one in here um because it's rare to see this back end of any of the cars i don't think i've ever actually seen one in real life other than on uh like classic car posters or you know calendars so this is a rare rare car to have and to be in this uh condition and the interior again this has that really cool pontiac steering column and or steering wheel that comes out and look at that dashboard in there that's just a crazy dashboard so <clears throat> now we have a buick 1960 Buick and of course with your Buicks you have your vents on the front and just look at these glass look at all this glass look at this wrap around piece of glass right there that's glass guys that's not plastic that's glass an Electra 225 the big wing so 1960 very cool here's a mark 5 lincoln that glass by the way right there goes up and down that's an electric that glass in the middle goes down so when you open up the windows you can just have the flow through air this trunk here is big enough to carry a spare car in case you need it big giant dials everywhere on there it really is uh airplane inspired 
everything about this car and that's a very cool car i don't know if you could see the color but it's it's like a green lot it's it's like a greenish white so really cool big white wheels now this has these are bumperettes this is the rubber part this is the metal part so if you hit something it's going to break the the rubber part probably dent the metal part here's another continental mark V. this has a um taupe i don't know i'm not taupe it's like a pink pinkish pinkish metallic silver pink so i don't know i'm a guy so what is that pinkish pinkish i don't know what color that is it looks like pink with silver mixed in that's what it looks like and this is a rag top so this is a convertible look at the size of this convertible top and this opens up the top goes in there Ooh, how close did we get did we hit look at that Whew. that's close guys i didn't park that and here's another pontiac i believe yep yeah another bonneville <clears throat> And this is an Olds, another Oldsmobile, another Oldsmobile. Oh no, Chevrolet, sorry, sorry, Chevy. I know guys, I'm walking through, I'm not trying to walk past everything. Every time I do one of these, you guys say, you walked past this or you walked past that. So I'm not walking past anything. I'm taking looks at all of them for you guys because that way nobody yells at me. So we got, this is an Impala and this one is the 88. 88 super okay 88 super so that's an oldsmobile 88 super very cool very neat rear end to that i don't know if i've ever seen one of those before love the back window that back window is massive i think probably weighs 100 pounds i'll bet you if it's just the glass itself if you had to replace that i bet you that glass is probably at least 100 pounds so love the pre-corvette crossed flags if this looks here these cross flags these come off you've seen these on the side of a fuel injected 57 you've seen these flags on a couple super sport models in the 60s and you saw flags similar on corvettes so that is the flags here is a fair lane skyliner you know what this is a skyliner but it doesn't have the glass top and wow look at this thing i don't even know what that is is that a mirror is that a light it's a mirror and a light um gentlemen we're going to see a skyliner that has the full glass top we've already done the video of it uh but we are finishing editing you'll see that coming up around christmas time and it is a beautiful unrestored now that one has somebody put the plastic seat covers this is what your grandparents used to do or my grandparents your grandparents don't do it but back in the 70s and the 60s people would buy these cars then they would put seat covers on them and i never understood the seat cover thing because why are you putting seat covers on something you bought because all you're doing is saving it for the next buyer if you bought it enjoy the comfort Okay, here's a 1958 Ford Fairlane. Um, beautiful car. It's classic white with the red and white interior. A lot of these are really the classic colors that you see. This is the Fairlane 500. Still has a Virginia tag on it. And then here's the other Fairlane 500. Now, if you remember, we just did a Fairlane 500 uh, the gentleman who lives down in Fort Myers, but he also has a shop up in New England. And he has, I think, 24 of these. And the one he had, had the extension in the back that was like that big extension. And then he had the, the spare tire that moved out of the way so he could open the trunk. Um, so this is what one looks like with the bumper instead of the extension in the back. But it's got the classic red and white Ford Fairlane look to it. Also the big front part of that bumper, the bumperettes. And of course, 
no collection can be complete when you're talking classics if you don't have a couple t-birds little baby birds this is a little baby bird with dual quads on it so this is a big old powerful little baby bird so i think it's a 56 with the dual quads with the original air cleaner with everything the way it's supposed to be red with white interior and yep convertible look at that interior prismatic uh, dashboard there it's got the wire wheel covers with the spinners unbelievably nice and it's a stick shift so four speed and I don't know what size motor that is but it's got the dual quads if you guys know what size motor this is I'd like you to let me know what do you guys think we're looking at it it's got um, no power brakes unless what is this this may be the power steering I don't know I'm not familiar I know we have dual quads front and it says front front so we know we have dual quads on it it's got the beautiful Thunderbird Ford uh, valve covers on it it does not have any sticker that tells me what size motor this is so I'll let you guys tell me and then we got the baby blue with the same wheels with the spinners same motor and this is the hard top on this one which do you like better the baby blue I I'll be honest with you and this also has the uh, spare tire in the rear and this big old antenna right there so this looks like it was on the road in 2011 be honest with you I like the red better than the blue but that's just me I'm not a big baby blue fan in some things some things I am here's another Thunderbird this looks like fuel injected Thunderbird special and that turbocharged there's a turbo on it so nice rare I'm assuming this is very rare let's see 57 Ford Thunderbird convertible uh, a little bit of restyling with the rear spare tire rear deck was lengthened uh, featured fins on the fender and this one however is a special F code overhead valve V8 a 312 overhead valve v8 that had 300 horsepower and a paxton macaulay supercharger yep so thought that was a supercharger and it is so this is factory paxton supercharger anybody ever seen one of those before i don't think i've ever seen one of those before blue thunderbird emblem but if you guys have never seen one before and i haven't now you have so that's all you need let's see what's this say instructions for removing blower and duct assembly so that's a paxton supercharger right there that came stock on this t-bird who knew did you know i didn't know but that's a factory option right there that's pretty cool that's why i like these kind of private collections you can always find something really neat what is this a coupe, coupe de ville there you go coupe de ville the 57 chevy coupe de ville unrestored except for a single repaint years ago founder of hallmark greeting cards so the color pink was called mountain laurel it's a 365 but this was owned by joyce hall the founder of hallmark greeting cards this was her pink cadillac her pink coupe de ville look at that love these the double hood ornament can't just go for one it's a cadillac you got to get two got the double lights at the bottom and the pink color so hallmark greeting cards paid for this car And then we have, I know this is a Lincoln. I can tell you, I think it's a Mark 1. 
but I could be wrong. Continental, let's see, 56 Continental, um, built a special order for his wife, C56A 1762, was delivered at the factory November 2055. Special combination of interior trim choices and one-off black canvas over metal. And this was built under the order of Henry Ford II for his wife. So Anne was not fond of hood ornaments, so the hood ornament was deleted. After two years of Ford family service, Anne gave the Mark II to her personal secretary, he used the car a year-round daily driver for 10 years, and then purchased by the current owner's father in derelict disassembled condition, and they restored it. So Edsel II and Anne and Henry's son have been taken for rides in this car. There we go. So it's a Mark II, not a Mark I. <clears throat> but very nice. Very beautiful. And here's another Continental. In like a misty green, I would call it. I don't know if that's the actual color. But this car here was ordered by Benson Ford, the head of Lincoln Mercury Division, for his personal use. It is a medium green iridescent paint and was only in 1957 was it offered. Continental also made running change that eliminated air conditioning intake vents on the top of the quarter panels. And at Mr. Ford's request, the Ford engineering staff installed a then new 430 cubic inch Lincoln engine with the chrome dress up items. So this is wearing a lot of things that were not available, including the wire rims that were not available to the general public. But when you're a senior executive at Ford, you get such things, which is cool because then you have a car like this that lasts throughout history and then we could see it. And then here is another Continental. The doors open on this one. <clears throat> And let's actually, we should take a look inside of this one as well while we're standing here. And you can see the interior here is like a cream and that misty green colored interior, which is really nice. All these cars, they, 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 the interiors really do accent the paint. Um, this is a silver blue and blue since the door's open. Actually, I'm not going to touch it because I don't really know whether the door is open or is it just shut weird and i didn't do that so i'm not touching it but here is another continental i believe this is also a mark ii yep and built for the wife of chairman of Olin corporation um and it was purchased by william ford william ford is etzel ford's son so a couple very rare uh lineages for those three lincoln continentals here is a 56 Packard 400 two-door hardtop. Um, let's see, only different exterior trim originally separated from the Caribbean 400. I love the color. Now this is like a very cool coral color and the whole color combination. Interior is like a blue, exterior is a pink. Well, it's, it's actually coral. I wanna say it's not pink, it's coral. And you get coral with white along the bottom there. Again, interior is red white and blue it's got the push button um transmission right there next to the steering column if you could see it another coupe de ville this is a nice green coupe de ville 56 cadillac coupe de ville unrestored factory quality survivor so this is an unrestored coupe de ville Green on the outside, green with the flavored, very strange wallpaper-ish 1970s, but it's actually 1950s, floral design with the leather seating. And this is the 56 Chevy Bel Air convertible, really beautiful 56 Chevy Bel Air. It's got one of those oil mix air cleaner things there that you guys I, I see occasionally still don't know how they work 
this has factory air conditioning and that's like air conditioning from back in the day uh, 265 power pack with an automatic transmission it's restored it is not uh, an unrestored that is a restored car and here's a what is this a Pontiac okay wow look at this this is clear this is a Pontiac hood emblem look at that hood emblem that hood emblem is worth more than like a lot of cars today and it's probably better built and has better products in it. And then, what is this? 98 next to us. Now, we did see a really nice 98 similar to this one. This is a Holiday. But this is a 55 Olds 98 Holiday Deluxe. And if you remember a couple months ago, that guy that had the... I think like a 1912 Chevy pickup and a 1904 or something Ford pickup. He also had this, one of these, that was red and it was really, really cool. And he had it for sale. Um, so that was really cool. Another baby bird. A Victoria. Another Fairlane Victoria. This one is in teal. Uh, this does have the glass roof. So this is a Skyline. So this is the Skyline with a glass roof right here. Now, there's a red one with white that we've looked at before. This is the glass roof with teal, white and teal. And as I said, we did video of one of these and this has the whole back, this has the package where um, this will, this moves up on a hinge and your gas tank is behind that so this has the whole extension on the bumper package it's got the skirts so this is just a, a just beautiful car as well and um we did one i think his name is i want to say bob uh has a white and red one so um we're waiting to do we did a whole in depth with his with the engine and everything so that was cool now we're getting into some of the cars that are in the collection I am not real sure about. I don't know a lot of this ninth, early like 40s and 30s cars. Is this a Willys or is this a Ford? V12. That's a Lincoln. A Lincoln Leffer. So that's a Lincoln. But for some reason it makes, it looks to me like, well, I guess a Ford and a Lincoln are going to be kind of similar. And then this is a Continental, or this is a Lincoln Zephyr, okay. But it has that, we, that one Lincoln we found the other day, I think it was a Mark I, but it looks a lot like this, except that the front, it was a 12. It had a 12 in the front, and it had some openings in the front. And this one is not, as it's got the long front end, but it doesn't seem as, as long as the other one was. <clears throat> and then he's got a lot of these 1930s, 40s. Let's see. This one is a Lincoln, third 1930s Lincoln. Really cool cars. I like this one. I don't know. Is that the can, is that the original color? Let's see. This is a 30 Lincoln, and it was a Featon Sports Featon 1930 Lincoln L Sports Featon. And um, I don't know. Is this? It doesn't say if this is the original color. I'll be honest with you, if it is, this thing is just beautiful. But I don't know if they actually had if this would have been the original color, but I mean it's a it's a really beautiful car. I love that it's got the windshield in the back, so if you even have the roof open, you have two windshields. One for the person driving you, one for the back. Honestly though, I'll be honest, I'm a car dude, so if I was alive back in the 30s. Even if I was like the wealthiest guy in the world, I'd still be sitting in the front because that's like, I'd put everybody else in the back. I'd put the guy who's my assistant, he could sit in the back. Now here's a trunk. This is why we call them trunks because they used to put a trunk back here. Love the running boards. Without side windows, and this doesn't have side windows, obviously. I don't understand how the rain and stuff did not destroy. I mean, maybe that's what these are for. Maybe they did have windows or something. Um... Tell me, for those of you guys that have these older, older cars, 
what do you think they did for windows? Because they didn't have plastic back then. So what did they do for windows that would keep the interior um, in good shape other than just not take the cars out? But you're still going to get caught in rain every now and again. 28 Ford. 27 Cadillac. I said, is this the original color of these? I didn't know what colors they came in. For you guys that are into the really, really old, these, these type cars. Um, and this thing's as big as a truck. I'm six foot two, and I'm like, like this is huge. This is this thing is big, man. It's like as big as like an F-150. And then look at this giant. This is like the first SUV. This is a full-size SUV. What is this? This is a 24 Lincoln, but I'm going to tell you what, this 24 Lincoln has nothing on, you know, that Ford XLT, you know, these, these big Fords that we have. Look at the back there. You could, you got, you got two rows of seating and you could put a dinner table back there. It's got a couple extra tires. There's a 21. I am six foot two and these are there's my reflection my head comes up to here this is six foot two right there right there is six foot two look at this i'm six two look how tall these cars are these are some big cars big big cars all right and um we've got about 30 cars left we're gonna take a walk down there and um, if you like this kind of thing, please subscribe, uh, ring the bell, put some comments down. What do you guys think? I mean, these cars get driven, they get taken to shows. A lot of them have license plates on them. So uh, this isn't just a collection that's a static collection. What do you guys think? I hope you like it. Uh, stay tuned. Um, if you like this kind of thing, like I said, tell, please subscribe. It's the best way to tell YouTube you like it. And uh, we've got the first two videos. Like I said, first one was kind of like um, the Chevy and Trans Ams and stuff like that. Second one was the Mustangs. This was all these kind of things right here. Was this row with just a mix mag, uh, mixed bag of things. And tongue didn't work there. So this is like the mixed bag. And then the other ones we're going to do is like the 60s cars that are down there. So we're going to go do 60s. That'll be the fourth video. So if you like all these, keep watching. I'm breaking them down into small chunks of half an hour or so. And um, so I'll see you then. April, hit it. April, should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one.